If you've never made any of my projects before, this DIY desktop basketball would be a good first one to try. It's simple, fun, and easy to make, and surprisingly seems to get a lot of people's attention. Out of everything I've ever made, this neat little toy is one of the things that always seems to amuse people. And I think the reason behind that is because it looks easy, but it's actually not as easy as most people think. Most people think they can get it in on the first or second try no problem, but they miss over and over again, which is why it's so addicting to play. Put too much pressure and the ball goes over the backboard, or hits the backboard too hard for it to land in the basket. Put too little pressure and the ball falls short. The only way to score is to put just the right amount of pressure so that the ball makes it inside the hoop, which for most people takes several tries to do. As you can see, there's a bit of paint chip on this, which just goes to show how many people have played this thing. Alright, enough chatter, let's get into how to make this. For this project, you'll need to sacrifice an old metal ruler that you have laying around. Metal rulers would work really well for this project because they're bendy and springy, which is exactly what we need in order to launch the ball. As an alternative, if you don't have a metal ruler, you could also just use a strip of plastic that's flexible enough to launch the ball, sort of like the metal ruler is. Your first cardboard piece should look like this, and second piece you need to cut out is pretty similar, just has a, a little rectangle cut out of it like this. So here are the measurements for that second piece, glue those two pieces on top of each other like this. Next step is to bend the ruler into a, sort of a 45 degree angle and glue that onto the cardboard. This next step is sort of optional, but if you want, you can uh, draw some lines on the cardboard with a sharpie uh, to kind of make it look like a basketball court. You don't have to do this, but it does look nice if you do it. And um, I actually ended up burning myself trying to do this next step, so if you're going to use a hot glue gun for this, make sure you be careful and don't do what I did. So, yeah. Alright, so this next piece looks like this. And you want to make a bunch of bends in the cardboard, sort of like I'm doing here. Uh, make sure that when you cut this piece out that the corrugation, the, the lines of the cardboard are going in the same direction as your folds. Otherwise it won't look as nice. So the reason why we need to bend the cardboard like this is because it'll help us to roll the cardboard into a tube, sort of like this. So you want to roll it up into a tube and once you've done that you can glue it into place. So it should look something like this. And if you want, you can add some additional, um, you can add an additional layer of glue on that seam there just to make sure it doesn't peel up or anything. And now go ahead and paint it silver. Okay, and for this next step, you'll need some sort of flat, ple uh, flat piece of plastic, sort of like this, and you're going to use the plastic for the backboard. So go ahead and cut out a backboard, kind of like that. And I also used some duct tape to, uh, some white duct tape to do the lines on the backboard. For this next step, I found this uh, small plastic container that I used for the hoop. I just chopped off that bottom portion and uh, saved the top part of it for the hoop. So go ahead and paint that red now. that to dry and while that's drying you can glue the uh, backboard onto that silver uh, silver piece that we made earlier. Once the hoop dries glue that onto the backboard. Should look something like this and now you want to go ahead and glue that entire piece onto the cardboard. For this next step, you'll need a ping pong ball, so make two small holes in the ping pong ball like this. The reason why we made those two holes is because we need to feed uh, one end of that string through the two holes. Uh, the string that I'm using here is just some twine. Uh, you, can, you can probably just get away with any kind of string, really. So tie a double knot, and it should look sort of like a tether ball if you've done this correctly and glue that loose end of the string onto the cardboard. Next thing you want to do is find a Gatorade bottle cap and glue that onto the ruler. 
A Gatorade bottle cap works really well for this because it's a lot bigger than most bottle caps, so it holds the ping pong ball really well. To prevent this from, uh, from sliding around a lot, you can add some drops of hot glue on the back. So see here all four corners there, and that kind of makes it a lot more grippy and prevents it from sliding around all over the place. Once you do that, you're pretty much done and this whole thing is complete. So now just enjoy some clips of me taking this thing to an event and having a bunch of kids test this out. So yeah, enjoy. Two. 